Hey, hey, everybody. How we doing? Morning, everyone. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, so the Goldbergs. Yeah. We really enjoyed the first two episodes. Yeah, we've, we've only seen two, so I mean, obviously, there's a a, a a few more to go. Yeah, we're still brand new to it. Um, right. Good um, time, though. The fun part about this show is that you actually believe they're a family. Yeah, there's the a lot of chemistry, like parents, right? You know? uh, yeah, Chemistry-wise. The yeah. chemistry is insane. Like, yeah. I, it, it's so heartfelt. We're, we're two episodes in, we're like, yeah, I buy it. I mean, I'm, I'm you know... D- different actors, different techniques, and everything sure. as far as like methodology. Yeah. Um. But I feel like that these people they they intentionally had the six central characters, including George, the great George Siegel. Yeah. Um. Kind of spend a lot of time together before the show. They actually started filming the show. I wonder because there's there's so there's such good natural chemistry among They're all six already. actors. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Doesn't it, it, they feel very believable as a group? Like you can look at any number of pilots and be yeah. like, you two don't know each other at yeah, all. The chemistry's off. Yeah. It's and you've ever seen any like a movie or TV show? And I can't think of it off the top of my head, but definitely have of like bad romantic chemistry. Yeah. Where the show doesn't work because you don't buy the people as a yeah, couple. Absolutely. Um, it happens all the time for sure. Uh, but but this is different, man, honestly. Like, Absolutely. I, I really love – look, he might be not the easiest person to work with, but Jeff Garland is really killing this. Like, he's really, really good. Again, I, I haven't really looked up into what – it was on-set bullying or jokes or something. I don't know. People didn't like working with him. Yeah. I don't know specifics. I don't really – again, I'm not going to. I don't really care what they it's, are. It's, 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 I it's, like to separate. I, I do too. He, he may be a jerk. You sure. know, who who knows? Um, I, I certainly don't. I, I, I know nothing about the guy. Uh, all, you, all you know is kind of like, oh, um, there's a problem on the set of Goldbergs because Jeff Garland is difficult to work with. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, same with like Alec Baldwin. I'm right. not saying he acted out on 30 Rock, but in his personal life, he can be a difficult person. You Absolutely. Know? And, you know, work-wise, I mean, is there anybody – you know the the the, they can't look at chevy chase and be like you don't want to work with that guy but at the same time you can i can watch fletch and think i love this movie bill murray is the same way right Uh, yeah bill murray is famously hard to work with too we forget that hey this is pretend right you know like they aren't the people they're playing on screen as much as we want them to be but at the same time it's 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 easy to separate and art from the artist right you you, you gotta gotta separate the art from the artist right yeah i watched uh the usual suspects last weekend and i was like you know what great movie love the movie hate the people involved you know yeah (laughs) it's easy not to like ryan singer and kevin spacey exactly for for obvious reasons as you should yeah right and um but it's still a great movie and that doesn't mean you should feel bad watching the movie exactly it's it's Pretend land. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, there, there are plenty of people who still listen to R. Kelly, <laughs> and, he's, and he's an actual monster. monster yeah. Yeah. yeah, like really, really bad. <laughs> certainly, certainly worse than Jeff Garland. Yeah. Uh, it's like it's diff- Jeff Garland, right. R. Kelly, <laughs> right? Difficult to work with. And yeah, yeah. R. Kelly, the monster felon, yeah. are not the same thing. Yeah, so, so I, I don't feel nearly as bad because they are different categories. Uh, there was really no point. We wandered off in some dark territory there, didn't we? I think the point was made though. Right. The, the chemistry is really strong, and I, I do. Want to say this um the the surprising re- refreshing chemistry between the three siblings yeah is great that. the right? child acting the child really acting good. is yeah. great and you believe them as siblings uh-huh. like obviously you know the the adult the three adult actors on the show yeah are freaking you've seen them in a million things Legends. they're all talented you know that they're going to be just fine in their roles yeah they probably could sleepwalk through them because they're that sure. good yeah but when you get three child actors yeah and have them have this kind of chemistry with each other and mm-hmm. this kind of comfort level um with three different generations of, of family members on Truly the show it's great yeah. it's yeah it's, it's it's so much fun to live in then you've got pat and oswald narrating it yeah. and you've got all the 80s nostalgia it's a really really fun setup for a show the nostalgia and it, wins me over yeah and apparently based on the video clips we've seen very much based on reality as far as adam goldberg's life so i wonder if that's like if, if they did that they're like here watch these home movies and then just try to emulate that. You sure. Know? Um, um, I I like the fact that they're not doing impressions because that no it doesn't feel. I'm, I'm not I I'm not a fan of when um, a, 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 an actor plays an actual person does a biopic or whatever. Sure. And it's like oh you're just you're just doing a knockoff. It depends, right? right. I mean, like uh, I mean Oppenheimer just came out this year, right? I think he 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 captured the essence of the sure. character. Well, it's still Killian Murphy. Right. Same thing with um, A Beautiful Mind. Russell Crowe did, yeah, did yeah. the same did the same thing. Good, 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 good. I mean, it, it helped that like I don't know. A lot of Oppenheimer's mannerisms, and if he was doing a sure. straight impression, I understand if you're going to play Elvis, there's an expectation of what you're going to do. I was going to say, a better example is probably like Maestro. Right. You know, Bradley sure. Cooper, it's kind of eerie how similar right. he is to like Leonard Bernstein, you know? Sure. Um, but but this is not that. You know, this is something, this is a sitcom, and it's uh, it's, it's real people. Right. But it's a fictitious show. Right. It, I mean, there, there's a fine line between doing an imitate, doing a cheap imitation and, sure. and, 
and performing. Fableman's another good example. Right, absolutely. Or, or you know, you think of Daniel Day-Lewis doing any number of characters that he's done. Yeah. Why is it that the guy that's played every quintessential American in history, the best, the best, is British? I know, <laughs> like, right? He plays all these American archetypes, including Abraham freaking Lincoln. And he's British. British guy. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> Don't figure, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we want to go ahead and welcome Emma, Pete the man guy dude person. Respect. <laughs> Philip Grisha, Emily Graham, and Snazzy Adam. Thanks so much, guys, and welcome to our Patreon group. We are very, very happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. If you don't mind the like button for us, please leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the new content we have coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. Mm -hmm. um, on all of our shows, we're at least four episodes ahead over on Patreon of where we are on YouTube, so if you're catching us on YouTube, Want to keep going? Our Patreon page is the way to go. Yes. You'll need to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You're only going to see and hear us uh, for copyright purposes. Mm -hmm. Also, watching 30 Rock is an exclusive. And I'm still waiting to hear back from Powerade Zero for uh, marketing. Please. Please, Powerade. We need you. You're delicious. And I'm capitalist. Basketball was his life. Was it's not good. It was life. Right. Big Tasty. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he He's a rapper. Oh, himself. yeah. Didn't count. You're gonna mess up the fruit, man. Yeah. He's on fire. You're bruising the plums. At the buzzer! Okay, he so he can't even play basketball. <laughs> that was, was way off born. the backboard. I told yeah. you one day there'd be a piece of technology that can guarantee I play professional basketball. There's well, not. the Reebok pump. A cushion <laughs> oh, the of pump air pump around yeah. Yeah. literally allows you to defy the laws of gravity. Well, here's the thing about <laughs> your dream. It's stupid. You have the money. Just get your pants and give it to me. You really want those shoes? Come down to the store and work for them. Fine. <laughs> this is a really cool title sequence. I, I, I love the transition in yeah. and out with the VHS screen. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Cool. Sure. My own. Seeing the movie Poltergeist. Please, please. Ooh. I'll do the dishes. No. How old were you when you first saw Poltergeist? I was too to young. Yeah. You can see this movie. The great mouse detective. He's got a little magnifying glass. Oh, oh, take pots. Loves talking animals. It's been four days since I've gotten a huggy. I'm Jonesin. I need my fix. Jonesin. <laughs> I wasn't about to be denied the ultra yeah, it's guys. PG. It it was PG. Yeah, yeah. I saw it on HBO oh. like at eight in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? The he, he doesn't. He thinks he doesn't realize that. It's the mouse movie. The mouse stuff comes at the end. <laughs> Where are the Where mice? It was the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Part of the job. We bust balls. Yeah, Vic. You sad old loser. Hey, what? You know yes. what? He's new. He's new. <laughs> sweep. And then you move some furniture and you sweep around that. I'll see you for lunch. Sad old loser. Sweep your floor and you know why? Because nobody gets to the NBA without a struggle. Oh, my God. Or being good at basketball. Yeah. Why would you have a creepy clown yeah, toy? Parents, don't buy your kids clowns. They don't want them. I just can't right? stop thinking about that movie. It's really got in my head, Pops. Enough to be afraid of. Now, go get some rest. Okay. Good night. This Pops will be freaked out, my too. Head. <laughs> yeah, sure. I guess she gets her hugs. <laughs> Poltergeist? Oh. I told him not to see that movie. Unbelievable. He's scared. My mom realized she had found the ticket to all the Snuggies she could ever want. Scary movies? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch The Exorcist. Right. This is fun. <laughs> this is a fun punishment. Yeah. Payday. Yeah. Hey, Day. $33.27? Yeah, he's probably not is only working part time. Yeah. Welcome to the real world. I know I made more than this. Why is it so low? Taxes. Just let me become a salesman. I can make more if I work on commission. You? You're not ready. There's a customer right there. Just let me go sell him the pink couch. What are you doing? Sorry, I had a phone call. I didn't hear the phone ring. Oh, it rang. It was Ron Jaworski. He said he <laughs> wants this couch. Dude? Dude. <laughs> he literally just called. I want this couch. Uh, no can do. I'll handle Big Ron. You, sir, have got yourself a deal. Thank you. You know what? Oh my god! Hey. <laughs> this is so mean. This is so manipulative. Run upstairs and I'll be there in a minute, okay? It's fine. I think you're scaring Adam so he'll give you hugs. Oh. I hear what you think. 
But is that so wrong? Yes, it's wrong. <laughs> Just one more night of snugs, and I'll never do it again. I promise. Over the next week, Barry proved himself to be not only a great salesman, but a He's real killing it. visionary. Right. Good for him. Mix the duck sauce with the hot mustard. Oh! <laughs> Nobody bothers I hope he's me. on the show a lot. Me too. He won him over. But my dad began to notice that success was changing Barry. Get out of my chair, go outside, play basketball or something. Ah, screw basketball. You're fired. What? <laughs> Why? It's not working out. Yes, it is. It's working out awesome. No, this is not happening. In fact, I fire you. That's right, you're fired. You fired your own son. Oh boy. Damn right he fired me. And you know why? Because he's jealous. I'm done with you, I'm done with the store, and I'm done with furniture. Forever. What does that even mean? I reject all furniture. <sighs> Might be a bit of a reactionary. Oh my God. He really is dragging his furniture outside. Yeah, yeah, sorry yeah. I didn't come sooner, kiddo. No man should have to bunk up with his mom for a week. No man. Amen. The hell Walkie is that? Talkie. Keep from inside the She's trunk. awful. The toy chest is a portal of hell. <laughs> Aha. That's the explanation. Well, you lied too. I told you not to see that movie, and you did it anyway. As of this moment, <laughs> I'll never snug you again. Ever! There's a 100% chance this, this After episode After a week of being scared. scared. The last thing I want is that kid peddling furniture for the rest of his life. He's in high school. I want more right. for him. Why didn't you tell him that? We're bad parents, aren't we? They're not great, that's for sure. But the day did not have a good week. I'm really <laughs> sorry I scared you. <laughs> yeah, there's mud wrestling. Yeah. So warm and snuggy yeah, and... Yeah. I miss it. One hug a week. One a day, Monday through Friday, weekends off. Every other day, two seconds max. Five seconds. This show's great. I love the 80s. Go oh, away. Not talking to you. That's okay. I'll do the talking. Why? But I want Didn't more for yeah. you. Oh, he bought him the shoes. That's nice. Nice. For real? I thought Pump you said my up. dream was stupid. Yeah. Well, you're just the moron to pull it off. Of course, of course Beverly thinks he's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Highlight reel for so college sorry. scouts. Squish, baby. Edited. Okay. If I had a time machine, I would go back and just watch everything in theaters from the 80s. Man. Yeah, I'm telling you. I would, of course, I would go see Stripes. Oh, Ghostbusters, and yeah, Buster got, for sure. Oh man, the '80s. Look, this show is relying so much on nostalgia in for the sure. best possible way. Like, yeah, absolutely, I'm, I'm fine with it. Like, I am too. Nobody's nostalgic for like the '70s. Not really. When everything was depressing in Vietnam. Right, like right, yeah. Everything's good. Yeah, Reed the, is good. You know, that Street. That was. I mean, I know we're three deep, but that was the funniest of the three episodes. Oh yeah, by far. And I. I I yeah. I need to look up the actors because um you know I I really like Reno nine one one when you know when it was on when I was a kid I thought it was hilarious yeah I don't know the woman's name who plays the mother on the show who plays Beverly and the guy She's who plays fantastic. Vic he fantastic. was so great in the very limited time he was on this show that that throwaway <clears throat> when he's like <laughs> wait what yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you sad old loser wait, wait, wait what yeah. <laughs> so we do we bust the balls. <laughs> um, Reno that one is they put it on Paramount Plus recently. I'm gonna have to go back and check some. Of yeah, it's out. it's so funny. It, it's I don't know if we can get away with it doing it on, the, on this channel because of how it's pretty dirty, risque. How yeah, it is. Um, but it's hilarious. Sure. Remember, speaking of sneaking into movies, sneaking movies when we were kids, um, that was one we snuck. Was the Reno 911 movie? The oh, movie. the the Miami one. Yeah. Yes, we we rented it from our local store, like like grocery store. They had like sold movies and stuff, and for some reason they let us take it, and we went home and we watched that movie and. Uh, it's Bob, funny. If you're watching. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> uh, but okay, the walkie-talkie thing. When I was in college, we uh, worked at a restaurant, and uh, for a brief period of time, we used like a headset thing, right, right, like walkie-talkies. And then like it didn't work out, and so we took two of them, and we put it in our buddy Aaron's room, and we would just be like, "Aaron, I died in this room," and like, it, did, it didn't work. Obviously, not, like, right. you guys are idiots. But, yeah, you know, right. but we thought it was hilarious. Like midnight, we're like trying to scare our roommate. Uh, so that was a kind of a funny bit. I like. I always thought that was kind of a, 
an enjoyable bit that I don't think ever works out for people. Yeah, man. Uh, Beverly really takes it up to 11. I love Beverly. On some of her, yeah, she's, she's, she's so a lot funny. of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, again, kind of like we, we when we talk about um, New Girl, yeah. you got you get a game cast and just like, like take it up to 11. They uh-huh. will, they're game for anything and yeah. just really crank it up. Also, the bleeps are hilarious. I don't know why I find bleeping so much funnier than the actual profanity, like at the at the movie. Where was, like, the, where was the mouse with the bleep? It's the, the simple fact that they they're saying we can't really tell you this just makes it so much funnier. Yeah, right. It's like it's what makes Jerry Springer kind of funny amongst right. a, a, other things. Like it's a terrible show, but sure. like when people you can't understand what they're saying at all. Right, right. They're just bleeping it all out. Like, right. I love that. I, I don't know why it, it is funny. And like, look, we like. I mean, we like we watch shows that have cursing in it. Yeah, honestly. yeah, not 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 approved about it. There's nothing yeah. wrong with the profanity. Yeah, um, it's just Arrested Development is a show that used the bleeping really, really well. I maybe, check maybe, that out. I've maybe it's that. the fact that you know what's being said, but they don't let you hear it that makes yeah. it so much funnier. You know, yeah. it's, it's the fact that you get to fill in the blank yourself <laughs> that, that makes it such a good a good time. It know exactly it. what's it does. Yeah, it really lets it be more funny because yeah. it's like. You're triggering something in your brain saying, this is really risque yeah. because we're not allowed to let you hear it. And you just, But you know what it is. Um, <laughs> this this episode was was uh, off the walls a yeah. good time. It really was. And yeah, I, when I saw Poltergeist as a much too young child, I was home. I don't know if any adults were there. There was not, certainly not one around me. Yeah. And it was like on HBO at like 8 in the morning mm-hmm. because it was... PG. Yeah, it's, so they, it's not that, art. That's back when HBO and, Cine, and Cinemax and Showtime wouldn't show R-rated movies during the, during day, the day because of kids. It was after, only in at, at the evening sure. you know, to keep kids from catching them. Yeah. And that was PG, so it was on. And I was like, this it scared the crap out of me as a child. So Spielberg produced Poltergeist. and he, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, That's right. And Kind of directed it from what I understand. That, that's the rumors yeah, that he right. actually did. He did the he work, yeah. Because he was doing something else that year, too. But because of Poltergeist and Temple of Doom, he is responsible for the PG-13 rating. Oh really? Is that yeah, why the MPAA had to make PG thirteen because they're like was, this is too. PG. It's not R. You're, you're not. You're not. Yeah. Break, you're not breaking the rules of the yep. R rated movie. But this parents need to know that this is a little too much for a little kid. Fun fact: You know what the first PG thirteen movie is? It was Red Dawn, wasn't it? Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Patrick Swayze. Uh, yeah, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Yeah. See Thomas Howell. Yeah. There's a lot of people in that. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, always looked old. Uh, Powers Booth was in it. Uh, their dad, though. Oh my God, Harry oh, Dean Stanton. Yeah, yeah, Harry, yeah. Avenge me. Always loved Harry Dean Stanton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love the '80s, man. I, like, I know what I'm doing this weekend. I'm binging '80s movies because because you. of the Goldbergs, man. This show yeah. is fan freaking fantastic. Well, I mean, it, it it really conjures up that feeling of the yeah. '80s, especially like like the excitement of a little kid to see Poltergeist yeah. because you're not supposed to, right? Exactly. And and, and going into a movie theater. Um, Back when they had yeah. ticket stubs. And yeah, yeah, line, exactly. You know? Yeah, oh, I miss I miss ticket stubs. Yeah. Sometimes I do. If it's a movie sure. I know that people aren't going to be in, I'll I'll, I'll buy a stub and hang sure. on to it. You know. Yeah, it was a this show was a really good time. So much fun. And Barry is an idiot. Barry is an idiot. We'll catch you next week, guys. See ya.